Okay, so uh, this is our uh, uh, this is one in so many meetings of the friends of your sea. So uh, um, we are all friends of your sea, and uh, we meet in the seminar that the South handles in his home, and that's the second seminar. And the first seminar was not recorded, unfortunately. It was a very good one, and the title of our uh, discussion today is a, a Lusternic, <laughs> Lusternic, Lusternic, Schneerman, <laughs> Category, and of Environment. <laughs> and it's uh, really a, a, um, it is really an introduction, kind of a novice. Uh, one doesn't need to assume not anything almost uh, above the, uh, the first degree in mathematics. And we hope that uh, uh, first that we, uh, we will all of all four of us will enjoy the meeting, and secondly that maybe someone else somewhere in the in the universe would like these talks also. That's why we carry it in, uh, along in English and not in Hebrew, our language. Okay, so let's begin. So uh, uh, let us define a path in the plane. So a path in the plane is a continuous function sigma from the unitary interval denoted by i into the complex projective plane and it only needs to be continuous and suppose suppose uh, 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 there is there is a monolithic function there is a complex function complex function f on a subset of the uh, of the complex plane into into say into the uh, complex plane into the complex numbers and uh, um, we want to define uh, it is defined there is the formation Integral along sigma of f. What is u? U is an open subset, so the function need not be called, uh, defined on all in all the complex plane, only in the subset. Just, just an open open okay. subset. Some, uh, some so open when, subset. when you say open a uh, complex function, you mean continuous, analytic. Okay, so so uh, uh, usually you would like to think about analytic functions, but I want to discuss. The points of non-analyticity okay. soon, okay. so I was I was hesitant to say this point. And you also assume that the, the image the, of sigma is contained in you. The image that the image of sigma is contained in you. Yes, yes. yes. Is what so the image of sigma because it's a map, it's a path. Yeah. This path is 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 kind of a, a contour okay. in the complex plane, and you want it to be. Inside of you, where the function is defined. Okay. So, what I was missing is uh, that you say something in the middle, uh, some uh, property of you related to sigma, which you yes. probably missed. So, so I'm just saying it now. I want that the image of sigma would be inside of you, so that this integral would be well defined. You need to just write one row. Okay. This. Yeah, okay. I'm going to anyway. erase and okay. write, write it again. We are not in a hurry. We have all the time. So, so actually, the integral is is when you pull back to the to the to the zero one segment, and then you have the function on, on zero one. Yes, yes, one can define okay. it this way. So, so we assume that the image of sigma 
lies inside of you so that we can define the, the, the interdominant root. Okay, and now uh, uh, we would like to discuss uh, uh, algebraic topology really, and, and uh, uh, it was observed by Henri Poincaré, which is the founding father of algebraic topology, I would say. Observe that if you have sigma and tau, which are two, two paths, which begin at the same point and end at the same point, so sigma of zero equals uh, uh, tau of zero, and sigma of one equals tau of one, and in some cases you observe that the integral of f along sigma equals the integral of f along tau. And he wanted to discuss, discuss when this would happen. What would be conditions that would guarantee this equality? And, and, uh, and so he defined something he called a motopi or something. What? What did he call it? <laughs> I'm trying to in say French, it in a French pronunciation. In French. I'm trying to say it in a French pronunciation, which is very bad pronunciation of, on, on my behalf. But I'll draw the picture. Maybe I'll draw the picture and then I'll try my French. So suppose this is U and suppose this is sigma the image of sigma, and suppose, oh, I have colors, the Yossi, no, yes, the, 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 the Yossi, Yossi, who organizes the friend of Yossi, mm -hmm. draw those colors, thank you Yossi, so suppose this is tau, and he wanted to discuss the cases in which the integral uh, along sigma would be the same as the integral along tau, and the idea was that he wants to fill in, the third color, he wants to fill in kind of in between. We stop. We don't go without go. We don't go without He wanted to, to define formally the situation, thank you, he wanted to define formally the situation where there are intermediate intervals between sigma and tau. And he called it a P. And now it's called the new homotopy in Hebrew homotopia. So, so what is an homotopy? So sigma and tau are two uh, possibly distinct maps from 0, 1 to, to u, and he wants to fill in between other paths in between, and he defines a homotopy, which should be a continuous function. And this continuous function would go from uh, 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 0, 1 times 0, 1 So, so H for homotopy is a function from, uh, let's call it uh, 0, 1, let's call it I So it's from I cross I into U And we want that uh, uh, one coordinate, say this, the, the t coordinate, would be the different paths. So that would correspond to that would correspond to t equal zero, say, and that would correspond to t equal one. So that's the path of t equal zero. That's the path of t equals one. That's the path of t equals one third. So as t moves along, we change our paths continuously. Okay. And, and so, so, so this are this a different path. Pathes. So h of blank and zero is really sigma of blank. Okay. And h of blank and one is tau of blank. Okay. And, and so S, S is the variable, S varies along the path, along one path. What is this? The, the, second, the second variable. There are two no, variables, no, S and T. Okay. No, this, this variable no, uh, uh, moves along one path, no. and this variable moves between the paths, okay. between the different paths. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's what he called that sigma is homotopic to tau. 
This is an homotopy, homotopy between so H. Let's erase. We don't have much. Not enough colors. In this case, he said that H is an homotopy between sigma and tau. H is a homotopy between sigma and tau, uh, uh, 0, 1, because the, the 0 and 1, uh, 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 those, those, all the family of that have the same uh, endpoints. And what Poincaré was able to prove is that if the function f is, is analytic, but maybe more generally, if f is analytic in f analytic in the image of h, then the integral along sigma of f equals the integral of a log tau of f. But now, I think now that uh, actually the conditions are more general. Yes. I think the, the, the residue points, only residue points are not allowed between, and even... Uh, uh, yes, could be, yeah, it could be a analytic, you know, meromorphic. Yes, yes. Uh, only, only the, 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 the only condition is that the residue points is... There's no, there's no logarithmic uh, singularities. So it's more general. Mm -hmm. And actually, Henri Poincaré was, was an analyst, and he, his point of view was analytical, but actually these ideas continue to other, to other directions, and this we would like to discuss today. He also defined homologous. He defined, I, I would not go into that, he defined homologous curves curves and showed also that also the curves are homologous sigma homologous no, my handwriting is horrible if sigma is homologous to, to tau then also the integral along sigma and tau are the same Of, uh, along sigma of f equals the integral along tau of f. 
But we, we would like now to leave analysis alone and to continue the idea of homotopy and homology. This is the starting point of algebraic topology. So algebraic topology is continuation of the ideas of homotopy and homology. Topology is continuation of homotopy uh, uh, um, Okay, so let us now go and define uh, homotopic maps, not necessarily path. Homotopic uh, uh, maps. And not necessarily and we'll give examples as much as we can. Okay, so suppose we have two maps, f and g now, from x to y. <coughs> so suppose f and g are two maps from x into y. f is homotopic. to G via a homotopy H if H is a map from X cross I into Y. Uh, just, just, yes, yes, please. Um, don't please, uh, remember please. exactly, but uh, if it was a vector field, okay. then two integrals over vector fields are the same if they are uh, if, if there is a um, if the vector field is a uh, is a divergence of a, of a potential. Yes, I think. So is it related to that? This is what I'm asking. Y yes, I mean if, even more so. I think if 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 the two fields are uh, if the field is locally conservative. Yes. Only locally conservative, then that would it. then the integrals are the same. <coughs> I mean, it's, it could be not. I mean, your condition is global, global conservative. In this case, it is, is a relation between conservation and this. Uh, yes, 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 exactly. I mean, that, that's exactly the condition. I mean, the, the condition that the integrals will be the same when you vary your path in 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 homotopy via homotopy is well, the, even the, even via homology. Even even homology. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, it is equivalent to, to saying that the field, assuming it's a, it's a, it's a smooth vector field, uh, that it is uh, locally conservative. So we're going to get it, or it's... it's no, no, I, I think it's going to continue in... I didn't plan, in, in, I didn't plan uh, to speak about that, but Radi, you're very welcome to okay. pursue this point. I have uh, okay. many things to say, but okay. I don't know if two, two meetings would be enough for them. Okay. But that's a starting point. As I said, he was an analyst, he was interested in that. But this is now taken into topological spaces now. This is my topological spaces. Uh, so so that X and Y are uh, topological, topological yes. spaces now? Yes, X and Y are topological spaces. And let's say continuous maps. Continuous, actually continuous. So if H is a continuous map, I forgot the definition of continuous uh, uh, these functions or whatever. Yes. It moves open sets to open sets, is that all? No, it's the, in the other in the opposite the opposite direction. Direction. The inverse image. The inverse, the inverse, image, image. The inverse image of an open, of open is open. open. Is open. Is open. Okay. okay. So is a continuous a map so that h of blank and zero equals f of blank. Same same definition as before, except the fact that now f and g need not be tapped as anymore. Okay? Similar similar idea. And h of blank and y equals a g of blank. Okay? Why don't we give an example? Yeah, why not? Uh, do you like the definition? You'll see. I'm trying to 
<laughs> you remember there was before an S and a T. S was the variable along the path. I just erased this picture. So now the, there is no path. There is no path. There is X and X. X and Y? Or X and X. X. Okay. Both, both F and G are defined on X. Okay. So if I write here X and X is the same idea. The, the, this uh, comes in place of the S. The T is the variable that goes from one map to another continuously. In level 0 it's F, in level 1 it's, it's a G, and in between it's this uh, intermediate maps. But it, it's actually not a pass. Why, why do you say it's not a pass? It's, a, it's, it's not, not necessarily a pass. Why, how, I mean, a, a pass how, is how just when X is, uh, X is uh, zero the, one. the zero 1. Yeah, but if it's not the 1, it's still, you can think about it as a pass. In the, in the definition, map in the definition but, but no. we're going to give an example, mm -hmm. we're going to give examples when it's not a path. Okay. It's a continuation of the previous definition. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. I mean, for example, X might not be one dimension now. Yes. 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 This yes. is what you mean. Yeah. So, so it's not a path, it could be uh, a, manifold, a manifold. A manifold, yes. yes. Yeah. So, so X could be a manifold. Yes. Not necessarily one. Yes. This what? is what you mean. Yes. Well, why don't we give an example now with the manifold? This. So, so we will example. see. Example. Example. Example is in green. Okay. <laughs> okay, Yossi said we are the no, friends blue, of Yossi. No, blue would be blue. Would be <laughs> Beside you. <me>. Example. I'm not here, that's lame. Okay. <laughs> okay, so suppose X is S2. Okay, why don't we write the definition? We say all x is in R3 whose norm, and create the norm equals 1. Okay. So this is the ball? Yep. Sphere. 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 It's called the sphere. It's empty. It doesn't include the inside. Yeah. It's yeah. the peel of an orange. It's not of an orange. It's Without the orange. Why not? But you, when you say ball, you mean the inside, the inside also. Ball? Ball. A, a, ball, a ball contains, contains the center, for example. The word ball is everything is inside. It's the air it's inside this ball. Air is not important. Yeah. <laughs> not here, but on Mars, mm -hmm. who knows? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> why, why, why don't we take Y to be uh, uh, R3? Okay. And we're going to map now X, uh, by two maps, X into Y. F and G. F of little s, s now is, is, is a generic name for a point in s, s is an s2, okay, so it's a three point, a three coordinates, and we would like to map f of s to be s uh, and one, so, mm -hmm. so, so wait, wait a minute, okay, uh, uh, wait, 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 it's the same s, mm -hmm. so, so I didn't prepare, okay, 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 it's just, okay, f of s is going to be 2s, twice s, and, and, uh, and um, so, um, okay, and, and, uh, and g of s is going to be 3 times s. Yeah, this is, this is an easy example. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's an easy example. You want more complicated ones. So there is an homotopy between f and yeah. g. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so uh, uh, G of S is going to be three S, and I'm not a, bl a good drawer. Maybe the drawing would be in uh, in green. You see? Okay. So, so, so here is the original S. Here is the image of F. So you just multiply by two, and here is the image of uh, um, G. You just multiply by three. So that's the image of G, that's the image of F. Okay? So these are uh, three different peels of three different oranges. One is an orange of length one, of the, uh, radius one. One is an orange of radius two, and one of these is an orange of radius three. Okay, and then the homotopy, you're going to... Ping pong, an orange and a pomela. Yeah. <laughs> the, the orange is green. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, not, it's not right yet. <laughs> An age of blank. But it will evolve. And T is going to be, so let's see, it's going to be T plus 2, is it? So we start with 0, T plus 2. 
can't make if you want to write x or something. Mm -hmm. So so you multiply you multiply the, the, the vector, this is the vector. You multiply the vector, well, let me say close it. Okay. You, you always close the so always H, H of S of T is T plus two times S. Yes. Oh, yes. So this is a continuous change. Mm -hmm. It's a continuous function, it's multiplication. And it takes one layer of a sphere and it slowly, slowly makes it bigger until it becomes the second layer of a sphere. And that's a multiple between maps, which are defined on, on, a, uh, on a manifold, a two-dimensional manifold. So no, we are not co uh, confined anymore to path. So now there's a, the applications that uh, take uh, people uh, faces and move it from one yeah. face to another. Yeah. Make my continuously face, make my face to be oh. like to look like yours, and I'll, mm -hmm. I'll gain from it. You'll see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that would be a multiple. Mm -hmm. Was uh, uh, we better take your place to Johnny Depp? Uh, was Poincaré? <laughs> uh, did he think about this uh, these applications? <laughs> I think he was an analyst. I think he only cared about integrals, but he defined a multiple and a homology. And there is the Poincaré conjecture, which just was recently mm -hmm. solved, I think. So. so it was a smart fellow. And he knew French. It's all mm. many, many good things about mm -hmm. it. Adamar was French. Adamar was French. Mm -hmm. and, and Sylvester, too. I don't think so. He was English. English? And a Jewish. And a Jewish. Mm -hmm. And Adamar was Jewish. Adamar was yes. Jewish. Of course. How but not Henri Poincaré. Poincaré, no. Why not? <coughs> Okay, by accident. We miss. By accident. It's, it's our miss. Okay, so we define a multiple between maps. Maybe I'll try and show to you uh, two maps which are not homotopic. Just by intuition, mm -hmm. I will not prove it to you. Okay, so, so why don't we take... So example, example should be written in blue, you said, you'll see. Blue. Okay. And the headline in... Uh, headline in red. So, so suppose x and y are S2, same as before. Okay. And we want to define two different maps from x to y, which we are not going to prove it today, but uh, it's very well known that they are not homotopic. One is the map f from x to y, sending S to S. Okay. And the second one, G, the identity map. that's the identity map. And the second one sends all of X to a single point, say to the North Pole. Everything goes to the North Pole. So you see that if you take a, a sphere and you kind of condense it to the North Pole, you cannot do it continuously without tearing the sphere. And that's the idea of homotopy. Homotopy does not allow tearing. So f is not homotopic to g. And the way one proves it is that uh, after uh, Pangoy, people define the first homotopy of a space, the second homotopy of a space. Maybe I'll say a word about that. And they don't have the same, they don't carry the same homotopy groups. Those maps or same homology groups. Same, same, they are not the same class. These same class in the same class. Yes. Yes. So, so, uh, so the idea of the proof, uh, kind of sketch. Basically, it's a general concept. You define, yes. a, you define an invariable. Yes. Invariant. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And in this case, invariant is a group. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you prove that uh, homotopy yes. keeps invariant. In yes. The, yes. Algebraic topology. So so thank you for the remark. Uh, the right topology yeah. takes the homological spaces. The homology group is identical. It takes topological yeah. spaces to discrete objects. Discrete and algebraic, possibly. Discrete. Not necessarily discrete. Okay. Uh, I mean, the, the, the groups are discrete. They have no topology on them. No, no, I mean, the, the, I mean, in the general idea. That you don't have yeah, of course. The it. general idea is, is called the functor. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. It, one it, category to another. Yes. Okay. It, it not necessarily right. mm -hmm. 
It's not necessarily uh, discrete, but it so happens. Yeah. It so happens in that compact cases. spaces, compact spaces, go to the script. This can prove the thing. At least by the homotopy functor and homology functor. So, so if the two classes of these two maps belong to different classes in the homotopy groups, they cannot, could not have been isomorphic. So the compact uh, space is a, a, a finite union Fine. of open or closed sets. The, 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 the formal mean. definition is that is that every every cover has a, a finite subcover, but our case is going to be even discrete. It's more simple. It's a collection of discrete points. Far, everyone is far from the other, and it's enough to that you show that f and g fall into different points, so they are not homotopic. Yeah. And they also yeah. happen to be groups, so it's even better. So actually, in order uh, to prove that they are not homotopic, just need to find an example. A functor, to apply a functor on them, which leads them to different points. Okay. You, you choose homotopy group. There are many homotopy groups. You can choose the first homotopy group, which is Poincaré defined, the mm -hmm. first homology group, which also is Poincaré defined. Mm -hmm. And if the images and I also define the higher homology groups, I think. And if we define them and they happen to be different under the application of the functor, then they must have been different to start with. So, <coughs> di different uh, uh, homologies, like the first homology, the second homology, yes. is just uh, different in invariants? Yes, yes. they're different invariants. Say so the yes. first homology measures holes, so it's intuitively. Intuitively, it's... Thank you for asking me, see. H1, so called the homology functor. of x measures measures uh, one dimensional holes or holes in the plane actually and h2 of x measures holes in r3 why, why don't I give some results that would uh, uh, exemplify this for us? If we take S1, if we take S1, so everyone knows what's S1, then the first homology of S1 is Z. And so is also the first homotopy of S1. So both of these are concretely fine. But if you take S2, H1 of S2 is the same as H1 of a point. There's nothing. It's zero. So this is not fit to measure the whole at S2 bounds. But H2 of S2 is Z. Okay? And H2 of a point is zero. So H2 can see holes like S2. Okay, and similarly, H1 can see holes like S1. And if you go to H3, mm. it goes on and on. Mm. Okay. So after we discussed what's, uh, uh, we, what's the meaning of homotopic maps, uh, we now would like to discuss what's homotopy equivalence. That's really not sure how to calculate. Neither H1 nor H2. Uh, uh, it so happens that yeah, the H1s are not defined them. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the H1s are easier mm -hmm. to calculate. It so happens, but uh, it's a long story. If, okay. No, I just I'll be happy. I'll no, be just happy to discuss it. No, I just for wanted to make sure. We didn't define. We didn't define them. We just gave the flavor. Okay. And pi are even easier to define and harder to compute. Okay. So let's define homotopy equivalence. So x 
and Y are topological spaces, we say, uh, let's, let's go to the definition of that. Suppose F from X to Y and G from Y to X are continuous. We say that there are multiple equivalences if we say that F and G are multiple equivalences valences if the composition G composed on F from X to X is homotopic to the identity okay and and F composed on G from Y to Y and the identity of Y are also homotopic. homotopic. It could be that uh, only one yes. condition is. Yes, I mean, it's not. It, it, one does not imply the second. Yes, the these are two independent conditions. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's an equivalence relation. So this condition is an equivalence relation. So, so if this happens, we say that X and Y are homotopy equivalent. So the homotopy groups uh, should be the same? Yes. The isomorphic. The, the isomorphic, okay. No, X and Y are, X and y, <laughs> X and y are, are equivalent because you started with F and G. Yes. If there exists F and G, okay. then we call X and Y homotopy equivalent. Okay. So, we, so the next step is if there exists F and G such that, 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 yeah. then X and Y. Mm -hmm. Our motor Yeah, exactly. Thank this you. This is uh, like a, you have homeomorphic where, where the compositions in both directions are equal to the identity. Yes, it's the like they are homeomorphic, and, and the weaker condition is that they are homot homotopy equivalent. Okay. It's a relaxation. Mm -hmm. so, so, why don't we write it down? X and Y are homotopy, homotopy equivalent. And if there are F and G, as as above, homotopy, homotopy equivalences. How about the uh, homology equivalence? Is it any difference? Is it the same? Uh, 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 the, I think white is the same. It gives yes. It's not necessarily. I mean, equivalence in homology. The, you, you can define homology equivalence by, by saying that the image on homology yes. uh, is an isomorphism. Yes, I think it's yeah, a way of G and F is homotopic to uh, uh, to I. Yes, yes. You could ask if G on F is homo homologous. Homologous to I. Yes. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Definitely. Uh, it's a, it's a weaker condition, but yes. Okay. So, so that's the stronger condition. Okay. okay. Can we give an example, maybe? Please do. Uh, and uh, just before we continue, if F and G, uh, being a multiple equivalence is the uh, extension of being homeomorphic, as I've said. And if the spaces are multiple equivalent to one another, they have the same algebraic topology functors. The multiple groups are isomorphic. The homology groups are isomorphic, and even the more complicated structures that we don't touch are isomorphic. But they, they still could not could be not homeomorphic. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, the first example is going to be such an example. So here's an example. Let me write it in green. Okay. Blue. Sorry? Blue. Examples in blue. Blue. Examples in blue. <laughs> Sorry. 
And the headline in red. Oh. <laughs> okay, you'll see. <laughs> Please keep an eye on me, okay? Keep an eye. <laughs> okay. Uh, the details of the example can be can be in black? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> no. The headline should be in red. <laughs> this is in blue. What about the font? <laughs> <laughs> the next two uh, I'm very happy. I'm very happy <laughs> that we laugh because otherwise we would not have studied at all. And also we can put it on the, on the internet. So, so example. So suppose x is say r three and y is a point. And we're going to show that there are multiple equivalent, but certainly probably they are not homeomorphic. Okay. So they are not homeomorphic. Okay. And, and uh, we're going to um, maybe this I should have uh, uh, given us a second example. Okay, I have another example which I'll give later. Okay, so we need to define f and g. There are multiple equivalences between them. So f from R3 to a point is just a fixed path. There is not, not many choices. And g from a point to R3, we can choose a arbitrarily, let's say g of a, of a base point is the zero vector. Okay. And now I want to show that both, compo both compositions are homotopic to the identity. Okay. So if we start with a point, let's see, if we, I start with G, and then, and then I compose it on F, I, I get the, the, the only map from a point to a point, which is the identity map. On, on that. So mm -hmm. it's no need for homotopy at all. Okay. And the other one is homotopy. You want us to go to homotopy. So, okay, so suppose, so uh, uh, I do uh, uh, F here and G here, so what do I get? I start with R3, I send it to a point, and I send it to the zero vector, and I want to show that this map is homotopic to the identity map, okay? So, Okay, so we want to show that no. G on top of to F is on the topic of the identity map of R3. So I define H okay. of, of V and T to be T times T. Certainly is a continuous map. Okay, so I, 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 I'll go back. Uh, I'll so go over the last two phrases. Okay. So I know I want to show that this composition is homotopic to the identity, and this is the homotopy. So this is a possible homotopy. So what's h of v bar and zero? Let's just do it. because the zero multiplies everything. What h bar h of v bar and one? Just the v one. That's the identity of v bar. Yeah. Okay. So this, and, and intuitively, we can think of that like that, that we can take the whole, the whole R3 and con condense it by a, f a fixed rate into the base point, into the or origin. Mm -hmm. And this would imply that F and G, that the point and R3 are homotopy equivalent, and all the uh, homotopy groups of, of R3 So, as we said, F and G, uh, I say, excuse me, R3 and the point are homotopy equivalent. Equivalent. And all the homology, all algebraic topology functors, all functors of algebraic topology, like pi, i, h, i, homotopy groups, homology groups, are the same number. And actually they are zero. 
because the, the point has nothing in it. Yeah, except for H0. zero. Reduced at zero. Reduced, reduced. Yeah. Okay. okay. So this was an example that maybe it's too simple-minded example. Why don't they give why don't they give another example? Okay. So example two, you'll see. Okay. And then our example now would be X and Y are going to be different and non non-trivial in the sense that they have they carry non-trivial homology groups and multiple groups. So X is going to be R3 punctured with the zero. So we remove the zero away. Okay. And Y is going to be S3 sitting inside of R3. Okay. And I claim that those two uh, uh, are not equivalent. Okay, so let's see. So f, f from y to x is just inclusion. And g from x to y, so I have a point which is non zero, and I want to map it to a point of, of a, a, a norm one. So I send v to v over its norm. I just normalize here. Okay? But I uh, don't like the previous example that everything was condensed to a point. You cannot get to the point because the point is not there, the base point. Okay? Well, actually, condense it uh, to the ball. Yes. Uh, uh, ball. The, the, the word the is sphere. sphere. Ball, sphere. Is the, is yes. ball is the word used for the inside in common. In common. <laughs> So, so the homotopy the homotopy uh, so did I write everything? Ah, the homotopy between uh, between the uh, G so let's let's uh, do the composition so one composition must be the identity yes. let's see if I include, yes, if I do if I do a, a F uh, just, just yes, yes. If I just define homotopy, I mean, is, is, is it not an homotopy between this x and y directly without fun function g and f? Yes, but we well, never define homotopy, homotopy between, 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 between spaces. spaces. Yes. yes, we define only homotopy uh, between maps. We cannot define homotopy between spaces. We can, we can give a definition. Between without, but without I mean, that's the definition. There. Without yeah. functions. So the functions give... I mean, the functions give you the homotopy equivalence. There could be different homotopy equivalences between two spaces. Right. So, so for, exactly. So, so, yeah. so, so, there is not one. There is not one uh, canonical oh, homotopy right. equivalence. Like if I can, if I can uh, continuously map one x to y. Okay. Uh, is it not a uh, homotopy between the spaces x and y? Homotopy is too sad. If, if, if you, you go if from you x to y, to map from x to y. y. Yeah, continuous mapping from x to y. So you have a continuous map, okay. No, 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 no. If you just have a continuous map between spaces, mm -hmm. it does not mean that they are homotopy equivalent. Okay. I mean, you, you can, can take, take a space and any space you point. want and you yeah, can map, map it to a point. point, for example. That's, that's a very simple example. Mm -hmm. and, and, and this kills the space. Here's the homotopy and the homology. Yes, but, but the space could be very non-trivial. That's the way it's done. Okay. You're very yeah. welcome to think of a better way. Okay. I'm not laughing. Okay. So let's consider F composed with G. So that's, <coughs> that's actually the identity map on R. That's the identity map on S2, I think. You take uh, F, you, you start with a sphere, you map it mm. into into itself in, in, in the punctured mm. space, and then you map it to itself again because it's all from one. Yeah. So that's the identity. So no no need for a multiple. Or trivial multiple. Yeah. Okay. Trivial multiple. Now the other one is also more complicated, let's have to call this G. I take a vector, I map it to its normalized form, and then continue it as its normalized form. 
So we just need an homotopy between those two vectors. So what would be the homotopy? It's going to be a path between. It's going to be a, 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 a mm -hmm. combination of the way. Convex combination. Convex. Thank you. T times P plus 1 minus T times V over V. So uh, I can draw you in a picture of a great artist. <laughs> So, so suppose, suppose that, uh, there is a point line there and there is its image right down here of length of norm 1 and you just take this, actually it's a ray, and it's a ray going from the, from the origin and you move from that to that continuously. So that's a homotopy yeah. between those two. And, 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 and the crucial point here is that this homotopy does not pass through zero. Yeah, of course. Because it's a ray yes. outside of zero. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, yeah. this should all lie in R3 mm -hmm. minus a point, minus mm -hmm. a place. Yeah. Okay. And as a conclusion, we say that, say, pi, pi i of S2, are isomorphic to pi i of R3 minus a point, minus a minus a of H. They have the same homotopy groups and the same homology groups. Okay. Okay, now we come really soon to Lustenich Schneerman categories. Yeah, there's just one comment, uh, what you asked about uh, when your question. You, you, you talked about the, uh, the, the homotopy, homotop you talked about homotopy between spaces, and you didn't want to think about maps between them. So I didn't want to think about the G, the F and G. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yes. That's so so I think if, I'm, I'm trying to interpret what, what you, and, and the way you perceive it is, is that you take one space and uh, modify it continuously until you get the other space. Yes. And actually, you, you, you do this, you use maps actually to do this, because mm -hmm. the modification happens in some ambient space. So, so actually, you, you map one space into some, some bigger space and, and, and you change it. And, and and, and you get the other space, and, and actually there is a concept, which is not, it, it's a, a cobordism. Yeah. Cobordism is, is a kind of a motopy of spaces, mm -hmm. yes. that you have some con connect, you have a bigger space that connects mm -hmm. between the two spaces, mm -hmm. that are in, in the boundary of this space, and, and mm -hmm. so, so this, you can move from, continuously vary from one space to the other space, but it's not like a motopy, uh, it's not like a homotopy equivalence, and the, the, uh, an example is like a pair of pants. If you take pants, you, you, on the top you have a circle, okay. on the bottom you have two circles, and you have a cobordism between them. Mm -hmm. Okay, but so they are, co they are cobordant, mm -hmm. but they are not equi homotopy equivalence because one is a connected space and the other is a, is a disconnected space. Mm -hmm. So surgery is kind of a procedure that you start with a space and you replace something by something. Yes. But it's all lying inside an ambient space. Yes. So mm -hmm. you cannot escape the bigger space somehow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or well, I cannot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So now we come to the concept of contractible subspace. Cool. Rock. T Subspace. And actually, that's where where uh, this traditional category would come out. So uh, um, X is a topological space. Let's say U is a subset of X. Is called contractible. Maps if the two maps, the following two maps, are on the pick. So, what are the two maps? 
So well, I assume everything is connected, yes, X is connected. So what are the two uh, One of them is the inclusion of U into X. And the second one is the, the map that's sending U into a single point, point in X. So if those two maps are homotopic, homot homotopic then we call U contractible in X. So shall we give an example? Blue. So, so uh, um, uh, let x be s2, let u be the equator, and if, if one insists that uh, it's going to be an open subset, uh, the equator is not an open subset, you can always fatten it. So, so why don't I draw it? Here, here is x, and as u I take some belt around the equator, open belt. But X, but also S2 is not, uh, is not open. Uh, it's open in X. Yes. I start with the X. Yes. Okay. And you, maybe, some people would have liked it to be open, but we don't, even we don't insist that you would be open. But if some people would ask for open, then instead of uh, the equator, I take some open belt around the equator and it's going to be an open subset. Okay? And I claim that uh, um, I can take two, two maps and find a multiple between them. U is the equator actually a line or...? Uh, yeah. Actually it's a line, but if people insist it's, that uh, U should yeah. be open, then I well, fetch a small, a small band. It's really a bet. I should. It's yes. okay for me to be a closed uh, set. I don't insist that it's an open set. Okay. And, and uh, but if you want, it could be, uh, say, the equator times a small uh, i around it. Okay. And the map is going to be so. So one of them, the f, the, the inclusion, which send uh, uh, s one. Cross small integral minus f f to itself, and uh, and the point the point should be say the north pole. Okay, and the north, north pole. Uh, point to what? The point is the north pole. The, 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 we want two maps. One of them. Point is uh, uh, north pole. Okay. The north pole. You map everything to the north pole. That's the other second map. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. North pole to the. Okay. And what's the homotopy between uh, those two maps? Uh, I take every s at times n t, and I map it. So let's think about it. I want to change. I want to keep the, the s coordinate, but make it kind of smaller and the t to become, slowly, slowly to become zero. So, so uh, uh, I didn't think about the details, maybe you take, uh, uh, you take the height. The, the take the belt and you go up. It goes up and shrinks yes. to a point. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It goes up and shrinks, so it yes. shrinks yes. to a point in the north pole. Yes. Yes. yes, it could go to the south pole. Yes. No, but in this case, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, this yes. is what it is. So what I want in t, is I want to change the third, the third coordinate co continuously and then change the first two coordinates. So if S, so, so if S is A, B, C, say, okay, so this should go to T times C, so T starts at 1, then it's C, but slowly it becomes 0, so eventually uh, the, the, the third coordinate becomes 0, then I have to normalize I mean, the third coordinate we, you want to be, you want it to be, to become one, one I think, yeah, because that's that's you're going to okay. one minus t. Yes. One minus t. Okay. Yeah. One minus t c. So at the beginning, say, at time zero, at time one, it is. No. It's a con. It should be a, a convex. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean the, the third coordinate c. is one minus t times c. Okay. 
that's okay. A times C, let's see. The time equals zero, uh, it is C, and the time equals one, it is zero. Okay, that's the third coordinate. Yes. And now I want, uh, I want to take uh, A squared plus B squared and, and divide it divided by this norm and kind of normalize A and B yes. somehow. Yes. Uh, if you want, I can write it down formally. So let's see, 1 minus B times C. And now uh, this should be A and B divided by, so A plus square plus B square should be 1 minus that. Take, uh, I want a squared plus b squared uh, to be divided by the difference between them. I mean, you, you want the norm to be 1, right? You want, you want the whole norm of the, the whole 3 to be 1. Yes. Because you want so, S2. So if I take a squared plus b squared and divide it by that, and then add the same. Maybe it should and maybe multiply, it should not divide. I think it should multiply by this quantity. Multiply, let's think. If I take this and multiply, no, but this this contributes that. I need I need the, the other two to sum up to one minus that. Yes, that's right. So so I need I need uh, uh, I want a squared plus b squared. Oh, okay. So so a squared plus b squared is 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 one minus c squared, right? Yes, yes. I can write it this way. It's one minus c squared. Uh, so so. So it's divided. So you want to you want it to be you want it to be. 1 minus 1 minus t c squared instead. It's 1 minus, uh, wait a minute. I, mean, I want it to be, to be 1 minus this value. Yes. Minus 1 minus t c squared. This is what I want. Yes, I want a squared plus b squared. You want, you want some constant to multiply a squared plus, b, so plus b squared. So, so this is equal to 1 minus this. So why don't I divide with the root So the that? constant. Would it be the yeah, oh, okay, I see, I see. Yes. But anyway, no, you're it's, right. a, it's a detail. Yes. So, okay. Okay. So this is uh, the concept of being contractible. Should we make a, a, a stop because maybe not all of us are listening? You can, you can continue. Okay. <laughs> Tough life. Yeah. Okay. Like in real seminar. <laughs> so, so actually, I think the point in your example is, is that you itself is not contra in contractible no, in, in space. Itself, in, in, itself, itself. in itself. It's not contractible. So we should point out that, yes. uh, that the map from you to you, the identity, and the, the, the point from you to a point are not on top of in this case. Mm -hmm. And one proof of that is that they carry different homotopy groups. Yeah. Okay? So they're not homotopic in inside themselves, but they're homotopic as maps into S2. Okay? Okay, so now we come to the first point that we wanted to come to. And that's the definition of the category of Lusternik and Schneerl Mankan. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I want to discuss something about the English language, which I'm not too much profitable at and not too much understanding. Uh, uh, the word category means something important. So, there is something important defined by Lusternik and Schneerlman, but there's something else important defined by, say, Allenberg and McLean, and there are different words. The different mathematical notions. So, so yeah, and also Bell's category. And there's Bell's category, but yes, but it's not in topology. Yes, it's not. It's not a. It's in a set more, set. more like a set theory. Okay, so so three categories. Yeah. Three yeah. Actually, it is topology. Three categories. So category. Categorical is important. Okay, so there is Lustre Nixnerman. Category. There's the 
Allenberg. No one calls it Allenberg McLean, but I think these are, these are names that would be okay for the other category. Category that would fit into this name. And there's Berry category, I don't know how you spell Berry with an R. A E R? Yes. Category, but uh, of that I forgot. Oh, but then it's all Fatih. Yeah. <laughs> French. These are used in topology. Yeah. I think this is also a topological definition, right? Because it's a Berry category one. Is a countable union of of uh, sparse sparse sets. Okay. okay. And sparsity is topological. Okay. Let's say that. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I moved into a different language. Okay. But it's not an algebraic topology, no. Yes, <laughs> we are not going to use that. <laughs> and we are going to define that. Yeah. And actually, this we're using all the time. Yeah. And luckily, we don't know the other. We don't. We are not aware of other. Yeah, other, other types of category in mathematics. So yes. we, don't, we don't need to enumerate them. Yes. So, so, so we define loose connection. One category. One uh, second about uh, etymological issues. Yes. yes. Well, what did you mean by categorical? It's actually uh, important. So, so, so not in general, uh, let's say, categorically this, uh, this, this and that. So, so you don't mean in general? What I understand no, no. English, in English, that category no. means something no. important. It's yeah. opposite, actually. Category is, a, is, is like... Different. It's, no, it's, 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 it's special. It's, it's something special. It's, it's a and he said, no, we said it when you say in English. Categorically, it's clear that, uh, that this and that. Right? This is a sentence. When you say this, this sentence in English, it means that uh, I'm absolutely sure about that. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, general two. It's not, a, it's not it's a, it's an important and, and mm -hmm. it's not general. Oh, it's not maybe it has Yossi, maybe it has, about it. Yossi, maybe it has two meanings. Mm -hmm. Maybe it has two no, meanings. No, no, probably you're right. I don't know. I don't know that to improve my English. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I, I, wish, I wish one day I could define the notion of a sanegoe. <laughs> 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 it's a Hebrew joke. <laughs> If one less extensive. <laughs> no, let's, let's do it. Let's define okay. a mathematical concept. It's an okay. and, and actually, actually, when we were using the Allenberg McLean category all the time without without discussing it, just by saying that if f, if x and y are homotopy equivalent, that they have the same homology and homotopy is really a consequence of this type of category, which we are not going to define formally today. So, if x is a multiple equivalent to y, then pi star of x is isomorphic to pi star of y, and h star and h star of x are, are isomorphic to h star of y. This is a result of Allenberg and Klein category, but we're not going to, it's going to be implicit. Now we're going to discuss Lustenich and Schnellman category. Okay. And that's also an analytical, uh, uh, it's a, a, a definition in algebraic topology, but it comes from an analysis, like Henri Poncoles. So, and we'll make it, please remind me to use the blue color and to give some examples. Okay. So, uh, uh, so the loose connection Riemann category of x is defined like that. Take a cover of x open by open sets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which are contractible. So contractible in X is exactly the, the previous definition that we gave before. You remember, we gave the example of the belt, a belt that is contractible to a point in S2, which are contractible in X to a point. To a po contractible in X, we don't need to say to a point. And take the, the smallest number of such a cover. So, uh, what is the smallest number? Smaller, uh, I mean, the least number of, of sets. 
So it's the open sense. You can it, take. Yes. But is it a unit? No. No, you take a minimum of, of uh, this. Okay. So A. Yes. Yeah, I mean the number, the category the number, is, is the, the number, number of the, the sets. The, the, the minimal number, yes. not the cover. The minimal number of the sets. Yes. yes. Okay. And the, the, the cover need not be unique, of course. But if it's a, if there is a cover with some minimal, with some number, yes. then there is no other cover with lower number. With smaller number, yes. 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 That's right. Yes. That's, that's, the minimum, minimum, that's the minimum, the minimum number. number. Yeah, yeah. There, there may be uh, some different covers that achieve the minimum. Yes, yes, yes. yes. the same minimum. Yes. yes, the same minimum. Why don't we exemplify it now? Okay. So, so you, you define it. There is the definition which is by minus, minus one. one. Yes, we, you we don't we'll discuss that. it. Well, we're going to discuss okay. it later. Mm -hmm. But later, I don't know what's the time. I have to leave. And uh, now it's twelve. So <laughs> why don't I mean we can we, we can we'll continue, continue next, next time. Okay, well, why don't I give the exam? Yes. Next time, next, next, next week. Next, next week. week, next week, okay. Okay, so, okay. okay. so next week well, we came to this point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Yossi. Questions? Thank you, Yossi. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> <laughs> we should applaud the lecture. Okay. Questions? No, questions next time. Next time. Okay, let's take the speaker again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's pass to Hebrew, everyone. <laughs> okay. All the, I mean,